Business opportunities through Guam's military buildup are said to be huge, worth hundreds of millions of federal dollars. But companies looking for a piece of the buildup pie can put themselves at a greater advantage if they understood just how to bid and win military contracts. The process can be lengthy and oftentimes convoluted. It's difficult to understand when you're working with the bureaucracy of the federal government. So whether it's, it's, it's the 8A program, or hub zone, or even if you're talking about mentor-protege, certain things have to be done in a certain manner, in a certain process. Lopez is the president of a veteran-owned small engineering services network firm. He, along with Virginia-based consultants G4I, are here to help Guam-based companies understand the complex procedures through an 8A marketing workshop entitled Guam's Next Boom. If you're interested in learning uh, about doing business with the federal government, this is the conference to come to. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, as I say, uh, a host of different educational techniques that will come out. Uh, but our center around this conference is to really, whoever, whatever business uh, is involved in that conference, will come away at an entry level basis of being able to bid uh, contracts and secure them. During the conference, a former senior executive staff with the General Services Agency will share his experiences and knowledge on outsourcing by the federal government. The good news is I've seen it from the reverse side, from the government side, both at Defense Information Systems Agency and at General Services Administration, and uh, can bring the knowledge of what the government buyers think about as they award contracts, the social economic aspects of how they can get to meet the goals of 8A and small business woman-owned businesses. The two-day marketing workshop will be held at the Royal Orchid Hotel in Tumon beginning Friday, July 18th at 8 o'clock in the morning. Hard work, but I guarantee you once you see something that you built and it's yours and you can say, hey, we helped build that or we helped run that infrastructure or we actually designed that computer system in that building, there's a lot of self-satisfaction and pride. For this week's Down to Business Report, I'm Catherine Cruz-Norton.